Wednesday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elam and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the 15th day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp, and when the dew evaporated, There on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The Word of the Lord The response is, The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food, and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance. He stirred up the east wind and the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. And he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea, winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path. And birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from Exodus 16, 1 to 5, and 9 to 15. We hear that the Israelites are in the desert and they begin to complain again, this time because they don't have enough to eat. They remember how they had more than enough to eat while they were in Egypt as slaves, and they almost long to go back to Egypt, to return to their slavery, rather than to live in freedom. And isn't that a common idea? The idea that sometimes we would prefer the slavery of our sin rather than to the challenge of facing the future without that thing which brought us comfort, whether it be food or laziness or complaining about everything. 
We're used to that form of life. And to give it up is very uncomfortable because we don't know what the future will hold. Well, Moses promises the people that they'll receive food from heaven. And in fact, a whole flock of quails descends upon the camp. And they have a lot of food, a lot of meat, but also a flaky seed falls upon the camp during the night. And the Israelites are able to collect it and make it into bread. Now, we don't know exactly what this was. In fact, even the Israelites don't know. They say, what is this? In Hebrew is mahu, the source of the name manna. Some people say that it was a secretion from the plants around there. Some people say it was insect doo-doo. Whatever it was, even if it was something that had never been seen before, God nourished his people for 40 years on this. The Gospel is from Matthew 13, 1 to 9. Jesus tells the parable of the sower who sows seed. Some falls on the path, some in rocky ground, some among thorns. This is an explanation of the great commandment. You shall love the Lord your God with your heart, soul, and strength. What does it mean to love the Lord with your heart, with your intellect? The seed that falls on the path, it has no roots. It's not profound enough because it never really studied who God is. Therefore, it falls away. To love the Lord with your soul is to love the Lord in times of persecution. That when they try to tear the soul out of your body, remain faithful. To love the Lord with your strength, to love the Lord even with your physical possessions. The thorns represent the worldly concerns that so easily tear us away from the faith. Jesus is explaining the law in the simplest terms possible so the people will not have any excuse for saying, we didn't understand what he meant. He's making it clear exactly what God asked of us. And may God bless us.